Good morning, it's uh, Deal Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the uh, trading session on Wednesday, the 16th of May 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Also, be sure to visit CFDs.com, certainly take advantage of that bonus. Okay, in terms of European markets, and basically, we have a, um, a mixed session here in terms of Europe. Uh, it certainly seems that European equities still manage to find strength regardless. It's just uh, truly phenomenal. The secret elixir at the moment is a weaker euro, weaker sterling and a stronger oil price. And that certainly seems to keep the European equities pushing higher. Also, the uh, yield uh, in the US. Yield curve in the US obviously is deterring investment there. Uh, again, obviously, with it oscillating around that 3% um, uh, level, uh, again, it certainly it seems to attract uh, investors towards European equities. Okay. Also, given the fact that weaker growth certainly seems to be uh, spurring the uh, the actual ECB to uh, maintain the dovish stance, which obviously versus a hawkish stance in the US certainly seems like a safer place to be. Uh, that's really the fundamental understanding. That's the only excuse I can give. Again, you could certainly... It just depends on your own inter interpretation. It's open to interpretation. But well, that's the only uh, reason I can give so, such amazing and immense strength at, at present in, your, in terms of European equities. Okay, now, uh, Asian markets are lower overnight. US markets lower overnight. Again, with regards to North Korea U-turn, uh, Mr. Kim Jong-un obviously insists that um, uh, basically uh, he threatens a call off summit if US is uh, insistent on denuclearization. That's the whole thing that Mr. Trump has been uh, potentially trying to promote. And uh, that very reason, Mr. Obviously, Kim is now doing a U-turn. They, well, they're not stupid. They understand the situation with Iran. I mean, even, even when America makes a deal, it's no longer a deal. Uh, it only lasts an, a year or two, and then obviously it's broken up like Mr. Trump has done with regards to Iran. So he's really shooting his himself in thought, and he has no credibility. And I think you already know my views on Mr. Trump. He's a narcissistic bigot, okay? So um, either way, that's the status quo. We just have to deal with it as traders, and we have to react accordingly. In terms of European data this morning, okay, um, Inflation numbers coming in more or less in line. Industrial orders from, from uh, obviously, uh, Italy uh, more or less in line as well. The real story this morning, obviously, is the um, is these concerns with regards to Italian bonds, given the future uh, political uncertainty there. Uh, again, the yields rising, and therefore, obviously, the euro's taking a hit at the moment. We did actually initially get a, pot, a jump high on the back of uh, potential uh, cutting debt for Italy, and that certainly hasn't been requested. So that, again, is interesting as well. So I'm not going to um, go into the uh, polemics of uh, the situation in Italy. Uh, conclusion really is it's risk off, OK? But yet, US equities continue to bounce higher. OK, so let's look at the technical picture now, given the fact that we know it's risk off. Daily chart on the German DAX certainly seems to be gap fill at 13,000 levels. So again, looking for further resistance there. 60-minute chart has failed to make higher highs. OK, we've, we're still oscillating and making that lower high, so watch out there. 10-minute chart and German DAX certainly have bounced from gap fill, hence the reason why I closed my short, quarter, short CAC before. And still looking for weakness here on the uh, on the actual uh, European indices. OK, in terms of the uh, French CAC, again, daily chart, you've got uh, t a topping tail there being formed on a daily chart, again, remains weak. Uh, you've got this rising uh, bullish channel, but again, vulnerable to breaking down. So let's see if, we, if this channel actually breaks. OK, all eyes on this channel in terms of the French CAC. We've got double top to play with for now. OK, so watch out for double top at 5565. Let's see if that can hold. Again, everything will be played against that uh, from my perspective. And again, looking for that to break lower potentially, especially with regards to the concerns in Italy at the moment and obviously the situation in North Korea. FTSE 100 has uh, certainly spiked higher uh, given the uh, daily occurrence with two new highs. It failed to make a new high today. It made a lower high at 7745 and obviously it's reversed accordingly. We are now coming to the pivot low of the day. Uh, towards that 7720 level, we've closed the gap at 7723. Uh, you have this symmetrical wedge pattern, the 10 minute chart, watch out, looking for further break downside, especially with regards to Mr. BOE Broadbent's comments regarding future guidance, also concerns regarding potential wheat growth going forward as well in terms of the UK. His menopause comments certainly haven't been uh, obviously well um, received, and again, he certainly seems to be uh, apologizing for that. Either way, a uh, uh, bullish channel here, okay. Uh, certainly looking to break and looking to test the pivot low, uh, lower lows, uh, looking for 7.768 and then looking for 7.630 on the downside, given the fact that US equities and Asian equities were lower overnight. OK, so that's the status quo in terms of European indices, uh, looking for further weakness. Uh, having said that, bear in mind the strength thus far shown in European equities has been pretty amazing, and especially with the euro now at 1.18. 
that certainly is um, acting like a potential catalyst for European exports. So watch out there. Okay, on that note, please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers. Be sure to download it from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Goodbye now.